publish some of findings at national and ministry, and you have to add all the new years of the And uh, here is a contingency, uh, it's five percent. I have already mentioned contingency is a risk coping mechanism and the budget if a risk will be seen. And uh, institutional overhead uh, up to fifty percent, a register in that also you have to get uh thirty percent back and it all and then we get a grand total. Uh, you know about this thing about your budget. Do you have any query about this uh, how to keep your budget? Uh, do you have any clarity on that? This is a very simple example of this. Okay, not then uh, we can go a uh, uh, timeline uh, uh, study schedule or it is also called a uh, Gantt chart. Uh, you have already prepared about this Gantt chart. Uh, 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 this timeline uh, yeah, uh, first proposed by a uh, uh, German uh, sociologist Gantt, so that it is also called Gantt chart. And you have to see uh, activities and uh, uh, when you have to deliver the activities, you have to make schedule in the tables. And it uh, and the tabulated form uh, is for timeline or study schedule or research schedule or or can start. For example, there are many activities, routine activities, and uh, when the activities will uh, be uh, uh, will uh, will be conducted, uh, it is given schedule. There is the project uh, for 18 months. Uh, month is given on up to 18 months is given, and for uh, your literature up to three months. District level orientation. Fourth and fifth one, data is given. The pilot three digit uh, and questionnaire preparation, selection of innovators, uh, data entry, data analysis, the report writing, submission of the draft, feedback and the modification, feed the report, dissemination, static and publication of findings. Last, this is the uh, timeline report to the to the month after the compensation of the issue. One month is uh, a compensation. In this, you will have to make a timeline. Also, uh, you have to make timeline according to the your know, objective. For example, objective one, how many activities you have, you have to write uh, time. Objective two, objective three, in which one you have to write. Uh, this is a very simple example about preparing preparing, preparing uh, Gantt chart for time. Okay. Well, four is to four matrix. Uh, it is four is two for matrix, uh, and uh, it has a uh, because you know uh, uh, it is uh, defined by uh, horizontal logic, uh, horizontal logic and vertical logic. In logic, uh, uh, it includes uh, you know goal, purpose, output, and activity. Logic and vertical logic. We will talk about vertical logic. Uh, vertical logic include, uh, I know, the narrative summary. Uh, objective is verifiable indicators, uh, means of verification, and important elements. And just uh, I'll give uh, some idea how to prepare it. For example, narrative summary, objective verifiable indicators, OBIs, OBIs. Means of verification, MOB, and risk and assumption. A narrative summary is just you know uh, you have to write uh, 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 a component of different uh, 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 you know vertical logic. Uh, 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 vertical logic. There is a goal. Uh, if we talk about uh, um, uh, optic path, the goal is the long, um, long term impact. If your project, your research, able to generate some indicator. With means of verification, in theory, to mention the goal is if someone is is the indicators and means of verification and assumption. I am not able to say how okay, is from my screen products. I am not able to say how much impact will be will be seen in the future. Go so for improved livelihood of the earth grid. Team people through motivation, um, promotion of red water, harvesting technology, in sealed path and other plants at the distance of the path. Just broad up stitches of your title. So you have to write it yourself. If you are able to say, then you have to write, okay, that is sorry, improve livelihood of our system through red water harvesting. This is your goal. Objective.
then maybe uh, your policy started from uh, 2015, ended by uh, 2019, maybe after five years, by 2022 or 25, and by the end of uh, 22 or 25, Five percent uh, of people uh, affected from COVID uh, livelihood, uh, you know, will be improved through promotion of raised water harvest technology. Twenty percent additional household income uh, from this technology. You have to write it. Sure. And means of verification for that might be CBS report or, or details. Uh, these are means of verification and uh, risks and evasions. And the positive statement of future risk. So you have to say political condition is favorable for the project. Sure. So, you know, objectively verifiable indicators should be QQTML. Uh, you know, you have to mention QQT. You have to mention quantity, quality, and time. It is very compulsory. Sometimes you have to write ML, management and location. If you afford it for two or three continents or uh, uh, two or three districts or two or three country, uh, then in this country, in this district, you have to write it, sorry, location. And management, uh, which management tool you have to use as mention. It is not complicated. If you have, you have to mention it. And means of verification means uh, uh, the indicator. Uh, uh, you have to show here in objective uh, verify indicators OBI. How do you how do you show this info indicators means means of verification? You have to verify this indicator. For example, give me roll seven semester my for so one for say or six semester and that's it. Or fifth semester the more fifth semester of pass by or that might be integrated lera. What is your means of verification? Of course, your means of verification task transcript. Okay, that is kept. Transcript is means of verification. When you show the transcript with your claim, then you verify it. This is means of verification. Okay. Uh, the goal is proved. The, uh, after that, purpose, normally propose it. Um, you have to get uh, you know. Uh, broad objective uh, at the end uh, when project terminate we will uh, propose the for uh, normally uh, you know narrative from a summary uh, horizontal vertical component of past tense I, I improved just identified the post disaster need assessment among the traffic community for better water resource management sensitize farmer to flow the rain or take Sensitize the development planner and policy maker for developing um, water based climate change adaptation studies. Now, uh, this way you have to write. And all I uh, propose, all proposed, you have to verify by means of it. By the end of 2019, uh, 2019, 40% of target beneficiary will identify post disaster need for better water management. By the end of 2019, more than 50 500 households benefited from rainwater pond construction and 20 percent crop productivity will be increased. You have to see time is by the end of 2019, 500 household is uh, your, uh, your uh, quantity number and 25 percent increase uh, in crop productivity is quality. Um, through which uh, year management is rainwater harvest construction. And by the end of 2019, about more than 20 percent women, 30 percent DAZ disadvantage group, and at least 10 percent Dalit household in project area will be benefited from rainwater construction, and 20 percent additional income uh, will be increased by crop diversification from cereal to high value vegetables. And of course, by the end of 2019, policy makers and planners will be aware. And sensitize on potentiality of rainwater harvest technology in agriculture sector, and this could be a very personal MOA Ministry of all the MOA LD for the MOA 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 DQ Ministry of Agriculture and Livestock Development report the district agriculture development profile of district agriculture development profile that they have asked and like and they have a profile from them. Sorry. Well, uh, perfect annually, uh, this is because 
Do you have any query questions regarding this? If not, uh, then uh, now we'll discuss about references. Footnote in your title press.
I'll talk later about what is AP style. Um, uh, you know, uh, AP style of referencing. And uh, if long tables, if you have uh, appendices, uh, if you have a uh, questionnaires, uh, uh, some glimpse, still glimpse photos, you have to put in appendices. Uh, appendices in your and individual it is called appendix. Sometimes it is called annexes or annex. And you have to put uh, each of uh, in different heading of, of uh, appendix. Uh, this is a very simple, you know, outline outline of the report. If you have any query about this, then it's not fine. Then we'll talk about uh, now. Uh, let it this is consist of about
Okay. Just throw it here. Internet is very slow. But you have to read some your uh, abstract and it is very clear to understand how right uh, how to write to abstract. Like for example, very there are many the case of many articles in years. The case is all just uh, you have to write um, okay you have to write these articles uh, abstract. Uh, this is the pharma perception and determinant of daily cattle insurance in Nepal. 